Good. <sighs> so yours is cinnamon and my touch. Mm. Mm. So good. Mommy? Yeah. Let's do the gummy videos. No, they're not gummy candies, they're hard candies. Let's okay? Do the hard candies. Oh, we will. Sounds good. So, in our orange flavored candy, we have an orange extract and the orange food coloring. I also have a secret ingredient that goes in that as well. And you'll have to check out the recipe. And over here we have our other flavoring for our other one. So this one is a cinnamon flavor, so it's going to taste kind of like cinnamon hearts, or if you guys have like that um, gummy hot lip candy, it's kind of like that. But I noticed on these ones, I love these ones because you need such a tiny amount to make the candy, but I noticed on the cinnamon oil one, there is a warning for kids. Um, so don't handle this extract, kids, without your parents. Um, and in candy making in general, and just in the kitchen in general, children should be accompanied by their mommy or daddy or guardian. Make sure you have an adult with you helping you at all times, right? And just slide in there like that. Like this? These are really fun like for this? the kids. Yeah. Good job. Like this? Mm-hmm. While Mariah's working on that, I have these molds as well. We really like these ones. The bigger lollipops are really a big treat for our guys, but these little gummy bear molds are amazing. So they're just, they make such a nice little candy um, that just pops right out there when they're done. And they make little cute bear shapes, so we really like like these ones. It's been oiled a bit. Um, you can just use very light dusting of any non-stick spray just to help the candy pop out easier when it's done. Yeah, do you want some help? Okay, the stove is not on yet. For anyone who is concerned about sugar making, candy making with her around, the stove is not even on yet. I do realize how hot candy making is, and she will be going and playing once the stove is going. Good job, xylitol in the pot. Let's get more. That's it, that's all for now. At this point, Mariah is actually gonna step out because guys, candy making is just very hot. So I don't mess with it, and I ask her to go play for a bit while I boil the candy on the stove. Okay? Here. Just combining it. The stove isn't on yet. You're going to need a candy thermometer, and you're going to test the candy um, once it starts bubbling and going, and it wants to, you need to get it to 300, but no further. Xylitol can burn, I guess same as sugar can, but it, it can burn faster, so you need to watch it and be careful that it doesn't get too hot. So 300 Fahrenheit is the goal. So you don't have to really stir this too much. I always forget how little you really have to stir it. The xylitol really just dissolves on its own. I just kind of tip the pan and get any granules off the side and it does its thing. And it's starting to kind of bubble a bit. So out at just under 250 here. Might be here for a bit. Keep a close eye on it. There it's starting to jump a little bit now. Going up. Keep a close eye on it. Don't walk away at this point. So it's climbing now. It's at about 275 and nearing 300, so it won't be long. We'll pull it off. And we're there. We are at 300. It's hard to see with the steam, but we're at 300, so pull it off the heat. Turn 
element off. Remove thermometer. And we're gonna add in our flavorings. This is the orange extract. Getting a few of those. Okay. It does pop a bit when you add that. And then I'm gonna add the food coloring and some citric acid too. The citric acid gives it a really nice, like, sour taste, almost like Sour Patch Kids, if you know what those are. I'm going to start filling our molds now. I have these handy droppers. I have two of them. And I'm gonna use those to fill up the molds. Baby girl, baby girl is here. but She's a safe distance away, over there, and yeah. she's watching. It's very hot. That's right, baby girl. Thank you for trusting mommy, okay? Ooh, yay! It's a little fiddly, but it's honestly super fun. I'll pop that bubble. The bubble will stay if it, you don't pop it. Mmm. What flavor is it? Orange. Mmm, yummy. Who likes orange in our family? James. James does. And it's sometimes I like orange. Mm -hmm. Orange is probably one of Mummy's favorites, too. Mine, too. See, it's already hardening on the spoon. I did let it cool quite a while before I gave it to her. But it's already hardening into sugar. Candy! Next batch? No. Make the next batch? <laughs> Again! Who's that? These in the cupboard, I'd forgotten. And they're little heart ones, which is so perfect. So we're gonna do a bunch of those too. One's all for you. And I want the. I want those on the tree. Okay, you're not detached. It's very hot. It's too much. It has cooled down quite a bit. Human hearts. These little flower molds are super cute. So this is the secret ingredient, is um, boiling the water here, and we actually put in not just water with the flavorings, but I put in a really nice orange tea that we like, and I put that in. So it's like a heat tablespoon of orange tea, it's got like little peels and stuff in it, so yeah, you can put this in there, sweetie. Throw that in there. Just like your hands. Mm -hmm. And that can steep for like five minutes. You want that to Daddy? Daddy, I got one for you. Um, let's do now, them. Now we make our candies Please. with something special. What's it called? Um, Xylitol. It's don't. It don't have the. Yeah, of stevia. Yeah, uh -huh. stevia isn't so great sometimes uh -huh. in sugar candies. Yuck. It's good in, in smoothies. 
Yeah. When you just need like a drop of it, but not in a whole big batch of something. Yeah, we don't need a much. That's we, right. We don't need a big full. But xylitol is great. A uh, great sugar substitute. Yeah. It's got about half the calories that regular sugar has. It has a lot less footprint um, ah. <laughs> on your carb intake. And it actually helps with like tooth decay and stuff. Yeah. So it helps your teeth and it actually helps people like me who have and top. This is orange, orange um, food coloring. <laughs> no, we need a good. Uh, and candy. We need the sticks to put this in it. Because we got two of them that we can put one on it. Then sometimes we wash them and we put the sticks in the sink because sometimes... Oh, you're saying yes. The sticks that go with our lollipops are reusable. Yes, so we wash them. We don't throw them in the garbage. You're right. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really a great way to do it. Instead of buying paper sticks you can just get the plastic ones they actually come with the kits so and the kids are pretty used to now they okay. just they don't chew on the stick they just this throw it is, in the sink when they're done this is the wet one we that's the food use, coloring yeah yeah food coloring is sometimes we put it in candy and put it in the straw then mm -hmm. we just put it in the food coloring okay mommy's gonna talk now okay Okay. One of the reasons why I use xylitol has to do with my gut health and I'm going to do another video that will be coming up in the next few weeks about that. Can you not put that in your mouth? Okay. That's really gross. So stay tuned for that and I can go into a little bit more detail about why I've chosen Mommy. xylitol, stevia, Mommy. those kind of alternatives Mommy. for me and my health. Mommy. Yes. Are you ready to make candy? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. 